Yeah, so we created uh, this way where we would take a picture of broken material and um, uh, from that be able to get some engineering data. Because mm -hmm. before, it would just you'd look at a blast and you'd say, what do you think? Oh, it looks okay. But you really can't optimize a process unless you can benchmark it. Mm -hmm. You know, you don't know if you're getting any better or worse unless you can put some numbers on things. Right. Uh, whether you're trying to manage time or or distance or anything else, you, you need you need figures, units. Yeah. And so this enabled us to do that. And um, over the years, uh, not only do we measure broken rock uh, blasting, but the whole mining process is nothing more than a comminution stage. You know, you you blast it, uh, you crush it, you grind it, you mill it. Uh, so all of those stages, the material keeps getting smaller and smaller. And how do you really optimize a process like that if you don't know how well you're doing through every stage? So does this fall under sensor-based ore processing? Is it, is, or is it a different technology under a different flag? Uh, I suppose you could regard it as sensor-based. Uh, Again, traditionally, if you wanted to measure the size of materials, you would pass it through a graded opening, screens or whatever. Right. Um, and that's still the de facto standard for doing granulometry. But uh, in many cases, it takes a long time. By the time you get a, a sample, and hopefully it's representative, and you, uh, you pass it through all these screens and you weigh the factions that are captured on each screen. And by the time you get results, it could be, uh, I don't know, many hours later, mm -hmm. uh, which is too late to act upon that information. Our technology allows you to measure that material in real time. And, and if you're off spec, you can adjust it. Mm -hmm. So that's, and it's not disruptive, you know. We have online systems that measure material on conveyor belts. We have uh, systems that measure material in haulage trucks, uh, dumping throughout the whole process. So it's it's uh, yeah, really quite. When you say non-disruptive, what 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 do you you mean by that? Is it doesn't interrupt the system? That's right. Well, if, you know, if you wanted to get a, a a sieve sample, you'd have to stop the production in order to get the sample. Right. And uh, in, in, in the industry, that means you have to stop a conveyor belt and maybe lock it out so that it doesn't inadvertently start while you're in there. Mm -hmm. And then uh, by the time you go through all that process and that is just, data is only good if, if you get it in a timely manner. Right. You know, there's all kinds of people that collect data. But uh, I mean, if it's a month later, what are you gonna do with that? Yeah. It might give you some ideas and some trending but it's way, way too late to improve anything.